Hello everyone. So as promised, I'm going to do an injection video today. Today is day three of my injections. I started Lupron, which is a new one. I did Cetratide last time instead of Lupron, but this time I'm doing Lupron. Lupron is right here. It is a twice a day injection. And these are Menopure and Gonal F. Gonal F and Menopure are both follicular stimulating hormones. Uh, so you can go back and look at my hormone video if you'd like, where I thoroughly explain what those hormones do. And Lupron is a gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonist, meaning it will allow the eggs to develop as much as they can and prevent ovulation. So all of these hormones are, are halting your body's normal cycle and, and your body's normal hormone releases, and they are replacing it with these. And these are amplified, and these are going to make those eggs get really nice and big. I'll go ahead and do Gonal F first because that's the easiest one. But this is what it looks like inside. You'll get your own little needles in each pack, and then here is the pin. And you can see right here is a little dial. So I am on a dose of 450. I use so inside this comes as 900 so uh, half of it's gone just because I already used the other 450 this morning so now I'm going to use this 450 so what I'm going to do is take one of my alcohol swabs uh, or uh, prep pads and it's going to be really important to make sure that we are as sterile as possible to avoid any infection because you are introducing a hole into your body. Although it's a teeny tiny hole, infection could still get in there. So all of these shots are subcutaneous, meaning just beneath the skin, and they're gonna be injected into the fatty tissue. But I will need one of these needles that comes in the gonal F. And I have probably like five boxes of gonal F in the, uh, the refrigerator right now. But all of these medicines have to be taken out of the refrigerator 30 minutes prior to use. Uh, I believe Menopure does not have to be refrigerated, but they just said, my doctor just said to make everything easy. It's okay if you just refrigerate everything to make sure that what does have to be refrigerated is refrigerated. So back to this, I'm going to take this cap off. And there's a little rubber stopper at the tip of this, and you can see the needle is right there. So what I'm going to do is just connect it right here and screw it on until it stops. It stops, I'm going to pull it off, and this little green cap is capping the needle. So now you get to see my bloated tummy. We're bloated from the injections in my Halloween pants. So what we're going to do now is wipe off the area that I'm going to inject and do the first injection. Let's do right here. And I'll let that dry. And then you want to set your dial to whatever dose you are given. I'm 450, so I'm going to twist it all the way until it says 450. I'm going to take this off. And I'll try to turn to the side so you can see a little bit that it's going in. One, two, three. Okay, the needle is in. And I'm going to push slowly. And you will notice that some of these medications sting a bit. Hold it just for a few seconds after everything is injected. Make sure everything gets in. Pull the needle out. Ooh, okay, on the left's done. Next, let's do Lupron. This is Lupron. And I'm going to use this needle, which is a insulin safety syringe, 0.5 mil, 50 units, 29 gauge needle. 
So um, when they say 50 units, it doesn't mean that this is 50 milliliters by any means. So I'm only injecting 10 units. So I believe I looked it up and I believe that it was a 0.1 mil is 10 units. Sounds about right. So I'm giving myself 10 units in the morning and at night. These are the nighttime injections. So let me go ahead and it's always important to sterilize the top of the container just in case anything has gotten on it. Okay, and now what you're gonna wanna do is draw air into it just to your dosage amount. So I'm gonna draw it up to 10. And now I'm going to stick it in the top, in the center where there's a rubber portion. Stick it in, inject the air, and then flip it upside down and pull it up to 10 units or whatever your dosage is. The reason you want to do that with the air, injecting the air first, is because it will make the syringe so that it doesn't fight you and that it will pull up much easier. But you do want to do it slowly to avoid any air bubbles. So I've got 10, I'm gonna flip it. I am now sitting on the table so that I can show you closer what an injection looks like. So I'm gonna wipe it off the area that I'm going to inject in. You should not have this open, by the way, this needle open while you're sanitizing the area. I'm just doing it because I trust myself. All right, so you can see I have my 10 units Okay, one, two, three. See it's in. Now I'm gonna push slowly. Oof. Okay, it's all in. I'm holding it for a couple seconds to make sure that the last droplet stays inside. Pull it out. And remember to put all this stuff back in the refrigerator when you're finished with it. Now, the only thing left is Menipure and it stings and I don't want to do it. Menipure is also special because it has a Q-cap that comes with it. And I'll explain about those in a minute. But it also comes like this with its own divisions inside. There are multiple of these. But on the top is uh, saline, and then on the bottom is the actual Menipure, and it's kind of like a tablet of powder. So what you're gonna do is draw up this entire uh, saline amount, which, um, I mean, it, it'll be up to your doctor what dosage you, she wants to give you, but mine is 75 units. So I'm going to draw up all of this saline into a needle and then inject it into here, and you'll be able to see it dissolve fully, the Menipure dissolve fully shake it around, draw it into a needle, and inject it. This is a huge needle, and I'm not gonna use it, but I'm just using the syringe for that size. Uh, this needle is a, let's see, 21 gauge needle, and I don't wanna put that into my stomach. And this one is a 30 gauge needle. So as gauge number increases, that means it's a smaller needle, thinner needle. So I'm gonna actually be using this needle with this syringe. So I take these little caps and kind of flip them off. That was Menipure. Woo, this is saline. I'm gonna move some of this stuff so that you can see what's happening. Okay, I'm going to wipe off the tops. By the way, all of this medication is incredibly expensive. So if you are able to maybe use compassionate care like I did, I believe it's called, called compassion care, not compassionate care, um, or use some other kind of way of paying for some of it because usually insurance does not pay for fertility treatments. Um, but what I was saying originally was about how expensive these injections are. It's important to make sure that you're refrigerating them and, and handling them the way you're supposed to. If you lose any of this medication, if you mess up with a needle, then that's not going to be that great and you're not going to get as great of a result with your egg retrieval. 
So I'm going to take this huge needle and screw it off because I don't need it, but I am going to put it in sharps. Okay, so that, whoop, I've got to get another needle because that one fell on the ground. Okay, we're back. Okay, now is the Q-cap. This is going to go on top of the saline. You push it on. It clicks. There we go. Screw it on the Q-cap inject the air, flip the saline upside down, and you'll see, you'll feel the syringe start to wanna to come back on its own just because of the way the pressure's working and there's a vacuum created. You will see some air at the top of the syringe, that's okay. Okay, all the saline is out. I'm gonna keep the Q-cap on the syringe but this is the empty saline. I'm gonna set that aside. And now I'm gonna take the actual Menapure and attach it right here. And then let me show you because you can see it dissolve and it's really cool. Okay, so can you see the little white pellet? I'm gonna inject it and it's already dissolved even though not all the saline's in there. I'm going to flip this upside down again, draw everything back up. Make sure you're getting every last drop of medication because it's all important. Okay, now I'm going to unscrew the Q-cap and the Menapure. And there's some air in the top, so I'm going to push up until the liquid gets to the top and there's no more air. Now I'm going to screw on the proper needle, which is the 30 gauge. I'm going to get a fresh alcohol pad and sanitize, and I'll sit on the table again so that I can show you the Menapure injection. All of these shots need to be in the lower abdomen and the fatty tissue but you don't wanna do all of them on top of each other in the, same inje in the same injection site. Sometimes you'll get some redness or some itching. Just be sure to tell your doctor if it's something that's unusual or unbearable. I'm just gonna use one hand here to uncap this needle. All right. Mm. Okay. Oh, Lord. Almost done. I'm going to hold it and pull it out. Ooh, owie. So tonight I did a total of three injections. I did Menapure, Gonal F, and Lupron. If there are ever any questions, please feel free to comment them and I will answer. But the next video will be about my egg retrieval. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.